Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are going to be making the Becky top from Retro Sparkle Designs. Alright guys, so we're going to start with our two front pieces, our two back straps, which is actually going to be two mirrored pieces and two mirrored pieces here. So you'll have four pieces total. And then we have our four shoulder straps. So I prefer to start with the shoulder straps, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to move these out of the way, and I'll show you how we get started. So you'll want to grab each individual strap, and we're going to fold it in half lengthwise. And you're going to make sure you repeat this for all four straps. So I'm just folding them in half here, making sure the edges are lined up properly. So we're going to sew one short side and all the way down the long side for each one. So now that we've got our straps sewn, we did the top short edge and all the way down the long side here so now we're just going to flip them right side out so i like to use this uh, marker here that uh, i got from the store but i know a lot of people also like to use um, chopsticks so it's just your preference which one you want to use i typically like to use my marker but sometimes it's a little too thick um so a lot of the times i also use the chopstick it just is really what you feel comfortable using but um they do make the turners that you can buy from the store but i just like to use whatever i have on hand it makes it a lot easier So we're just opening um, the sewn side just as much as we can really just to kind of start pushing that into itself. And once you get that end piece pushed in, it's smooth sailing from there. It's just getting that first piece initially that is um, a little bit more difficult or takes a little more time really. So I'm just going to work on getting these straps turned right side out, and then we'll be back to continue. Now I'm just pushing the chopstick back through um, just to kind of fix that end piece, make sure it looks all right and um, it's not all rolled into itself or funky looking. So now that we've got one strap finished, we are going to work on the other three. So now that we've got our shoulder straps done, we're going to move on to the next thing. Okay, so we're going to place one of our front pieces right side up, and we're going to take one of our back straps, and we're going to place it along the side, matching up the raw edges. You want to make sure that the side with the notch is towards the top of the front piece. Now we're gonna 
grab our other side, look for the notch, and we're going to line that up the exact same way. So now that we've got both of our back straps matched up to the front piece, we're going to sew down the sides. And you're going to want to repeat this for your other set of front piece and back straps. So now that we've got both of those, we're just going to sew straight down the sides of each one. So now that we have our um, front pieces and our back straps laid flat with the right side up, we're going to take our shoulder straps and we're going to put the seam of that strap right in the middle. Then once you've decided which is going to be your liner piece and your main piece, you're going to lay your straps right on the notch that's on the front piece and you're going to want to lay that seam up right. So you're going to want to lay the smooth side of the strap onto the main piece. And we're going to repeat that for all four straps. Once you have all four of your straps clipped in place, we're going to grab the other front piece and we're going to lay that right sides together with the front piece that has the straps on it. So now that we have the top raw edge clipped, we're going to work on this bottom edge here. But you're going to want to make sure all of your straps are tucked inside. So you're going to want to clip from one end of the back strap all the way to the other. But make sure that your back straps that are hanging out the bottom are tucked inside so that you do not sew those while you're um, closing up the bottom edge. Alright, so once we've got that clipped in place, we're going to look at this last back strap here. I normally like to place my gap because you are going to want to place a gap so that you can turn it right side out. I like to place my gap right where it's going to be tied so that once you top stitch it or if you do an invisible stitch, you won't be able to see where that's at because it'll be right where it was tied. So where my two green clips are on the right side of the back strap, that is where I'm going to place my gap. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to sew all the way around. And then I'm going to stop right back at that first green clip here. So now that we have our front piece sewn, we are going to flip it right side out. And it's just the same as I showed with the shoulder straps we're going to pull everything through this little gap and um, flip it right side out one thing i've noticed that makes it super easy is once you find that first strap if you pull that it really helps pull all of your other pieces out super smoothly
So now I'm just basically making sure the front point is all the way pulled out properly. I'm making sure the very ends of the back strap are all um, flipped out correctly. We are just going to check it, make sure everything looks good, and then we're going to work on the little gap that's left. So we're just going to make sure everything is pushed in properly and we're going to fold those edges in so that um, you don't have any raw edges sticking out. And I like to top stitch. You can do an invisible, invisible stitch, but it's just a lot easier for me to top stitch because this stuff is for me personally. I'm not selling this, so I just do the top stitch. Now that we've got that gap closed, we are done. There is nothing left to do besides tying your back straps and your shoulder straps. And of course, you don't have to do that until you wear it. But I just like to do it because it looks cute. <laughs> and I am so in love with this top. It is so perfect for summer, especially if you like going to festivals and concerts. It is going to make you look so good and you're not going to be sweating your butt off so it's absolutely perfect but that is all for today's video guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know down in the comments below what pattern you'd like me to test out next thanks guys see ya